Hi there. Welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, uh, today, uh, staying back uh, with uh, Twitter, so I'm going to talk about um, on uh, you know on how on 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 how you actually get followers the ethical way. Now, um, the question that I get asked is that is it really unethical to buy followers? Um, let's try and investigate. Um, so before you we do that, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Please uh, like my videos. Please share my videos. And I am planning to to continue uh, bringing to you uh, in this particular week uh, stuff about social media, Twitter, and other channels. So uh, let's dive in. Let's uh, let me share my slides with you right away. So it's a straight answer to whether it's uh, unethical. Uh, well, it's actually not, or uh, I would say in a purer, stricter sense, uh, it's not because a lot of people do that. And they've been happening since uh, Twitter has come into existence. But you can possibly do better. You could possibly uh, do stuff which could bring you those kind of uh, followership um, very, very easily. And uh, Twitter really allows you to do that. So you have to keep one point in mind, which is very, very critical. And that is, what is it that inspires people? What will, what should you do? What kind of uh, posts, what, what, what kind of tweets would you put in to actually inspire people that really forces them to follow you because think of it nobody knows you so they look at you as based on the tweets that you put in so the tweets are the front face of you so you have to ensure that you post tweets that really connects with the, the people who, who, are, who may possibly follow you so it is essential that you you come up with posts and tweets, um, which whether they are uh, you know sharing of articles or some inspirational videos or uh, fantastic um, you know um, uh, images or infographic or whatever that is, they must inspire your people so that that forces them to follow you. So, try this out. You may want to find out, or you would have been tweeting for a long time. There would have been one tweet, or one unique content that really has worked, and it has engaged with your um, followers that you have, or people who are still not uh, in the realm of your uh, follower group. You could go to the back uh, end and look at the statistics, the data analytics, the insights that you get that, to, uh, that for, uh, Twitter offers you. Look at which one tweet that has really, really engaged with the audience really, really well. Look at it. Maybe you may need to run some ads or run some campaigns, probably based on that particular one content or tweet that has worked for you. Likewise, you would get a few such camp, a uh, few such tweets which would work for uh, people. So look at doing all of that. And the good thing about getting real followers is that there is there is no fake follower conundrum. So. Typically, if you're buying followers who are coming in and who are probably exiting your group, so that means there is a poor engagement with your uh, Twitter handle. So look at how you could engage much more easily, much better with your audience. That is that is key. That is one key parameter that Twitter Twitter looks at. So a poor engagement. Uh, Will will automatically uh, force Twitter to 
uh, assign low value to your handle and to your uh, tweets. So it's all about increasing the real value of your tweet so that you could increase your reach, you can engage with a larger audience, a better profile of audience, look at those who have great followers and, uh, and how they engage with them. They keep mentioning other people, names of other people, or handles of other people, and um, they, they, they comment on each other's posts. Look at all of that, because Twitter considers them to be influencers. So. communicate with those influencers. Don't feel shy. Uh, just go ahead and engage with them. Twitter also curates such uh, handles where, which, which have um, engaged with influencers and put them high on top and their tweets high on top. So that obviously would probably take your tweets uh, when you engage with those influencers higher on their ranking. So uh, consider doing that also you you these are these are there are many other ways to actually tacitly uh, promote your tweets if you engage with uh, the influencers like, like I mentioned in the uh, in a um, tutorial yesterday uh, about how you can actually connect the dots on a particular tweet from let's say an influencer uh, by providing relevant um, uh, research reports or articles that can probably help in you come in as a part of that influencing crew and get followed by people who are already following a particular influencer who has many, many uh, followers. So, um, so the short answer is that it's not really unethical to uh, buy uh, followers but it's always better to have real followers because real followers means that you have more reach, you have more engagement, and hence Twitter will assign much higher value to your handle, to your uh, tweets. So that's that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so let you know, my name is Saurav Mukherjee. I'm a digital and technology marketing leader with over 20 years of global experience. I'll leave behind my Twitter, uh, my LinkedIn uh, URL. Please go ahead and connect with me. Uh, there will be a form to subscribe to my newslet new, uh, newsletters. Please do that. I I work I consistently work with uh, startups and companies uh, as consultant, looking to find solutions to their uh, business challenges. If you want to engage me, please uh, check yes on the third uh, field of the form and I will uh, get back to you very, very soon. Until then, please subscribe to my channel. Please like my videos. Uh, please um, share my videos, and I shall uh, see you very soon. Take care, uh, and bye-bye, and have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.